Okay folks, here we have a Dell i 3531 1200BK laptop and I'm going to show you how to upgrade its RAM. Uh, this machine came with 4 gigs of RAM but we're going to move to 8 gigs which is the most this machine can handle according to its spec sheet. Alright, the first thing you want to do is make sure the computer is unplugged and take out the battery. This is to avoid accidentally shorting things out electrically while you have the machine open. Um, to remove the battery, it's very easy. You just pull apart these two tabs and then you just lift it up with this little piece right here and it just pops right out. Okay, now to get to the RAM we have to take apart uh, this bottom plate here. On some machines you have to take apart the whole bottom. On this one you just take off this one little piece so it's much nicer I think. It's a little easier to do. There are only two screws involved and they stay attached to the plate here so they won't come all the way out. But you also don't have to worry about losing them. Okay, now we've got the screws loosened, but the plate is still held in by some little tabs along the edges. The tabs along this edge and this edge are longer than the tabs along these two edges. Um, so you want to pull it out along the edges with the shorter tabs uh, so you don't risk breaking the longer tabs on the other edges. So you, you do have to kind of force it a little bit, but you just lift up and you'll hear them popping out. There we go. So, I don't know if you can see in the video, but these along the edge, this edge, have more of a lip that would probably break off if you force that end out first, and same over here. Okay, that's that. Now, here's where all the action is. Over here we have the hard drive, um, I'm going to do another video on how to upgrade the hard drive. If you want to switch to an SSD or something, you would take this guy out and replace it. But what we're interested in now is the RAM, which is this little piece right here. You'll notice there's only one socket. Some machines have multiple sockets. This one only has one. So when you upgrade to 8 gigs, you've got to make sure that your 8 gig upgrade is only a single chip because some 8 gig upgrades will come as two 4 gig chips, and that's not going to work in this case. Um, I'll put a link down below the video to a, a RAM module that's known to work with this machine. Alright, to take out the RAM, you just pull these metal tabs apart just directly out to the sides. And then the RAM just pops on, on like that. It's sort of spring-loaded. And then you can just take it out. So here's our RAM. You can see that uh, the pins have a gap in one spot. This is to, help, to keep you from putting it in backwards. If you try to put it in backwards, it physically won't fit because there's a plastic tab that has to go in the slot here. So you don't have to worry about figuring out which way it goes. Um, another thing to note is you shouldn't touch the, the metal pins on the end or any of the stuff in the middle if you can help it. It's best to hold it along the edges. Okay, when you're ready to put in the new RAM, I didn't actually buy new RAM, I just wanted to demonstrate the process to you guys, so I'm going to put in the old RAM again. But when you put in the new RAM, you put it in tilted up at an angle like this, not straight. You tilt it up at an angle, then push it in as far as it will go, then press down on each corner, just press it directly down until you see the metal tabs snap back into place. That's it, we're done. When you turn on your machine, it should recognize the 8 gigs and just work. Alright, so now uh, to put the plate back on, we're going to want to put the long tabs in first and then the side with the short tabs, the sides with the short tabs. Okay, so we'll start by putting in that side and then the end piece over here. No, let's put in the end piece first, how about that? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, if I just press down on these other sides, well, I guess it's not going to snap in until I screw these in a little bit, so let's screw them in.
Okay, there we go. Now we just put our battery back in. And we're done. That's how you upgrade the RAM. Alright, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. I did a review of this machine and a bunch of other laptops uh, and a few other things.